He's back. So sure, goat yoga. Many times we've explored the world yeah. of goat yoga. I mean, that's normal at this point, goat yoga, but camels here, Corey, All right. what's happening? The, one thing I've learned about the Hunt Highway Corridor, no rules. Whatever you want to do out here, you can do it. April Gould is with us, and she's got a pal in her arms. Now, this is this is what we're used to, a goat yoga, an actual goat. Exactly. Yeah, we usually always have goats. Yeah. Now, beyond us, I'm not, I, I mean, I didn't grow up on a farm. I grew up in town. That does not look like a goat. What is that? <laughs> no, that is James the Camel. James, good. <laughs> and it's actually, we have alpacas, Kip and Napoleon. And oh, they I brought see. their cousin here. They're oh, all part this of the is same great. family. Well, <laughs> you make things so fun for <laughs> your uh, devotees. And goat yoga, you're, I consider you to be the Duchess of Goat Yoga. We are. We yes, started you it. You and Sarah. We're going five years now. Well, it's... It's a, it's a phenomenon that seems to have uh, no stopping point, and your crowd is huge. And this is sort of a, a small crowd, right? A private group today, right? Yes, we have a private group today. They're uh, veterinarians, so they all came to... <laughs> we want your face Enjoy. in the sunshine. I know. We'll keep your fair, your alabaster skin Thank protected. Um, so how does it all work? Let's say you want to come out here and you want to get near a camel and goats for yoga. How does it all happen? So you just sign up online, goatyoga.com. It's only $15 a class, so it's super affordable. And you just come on out, and we always have a new surprise every time. We have different themes and mm -hmm. whatnot. This is 4th of July here. I assume that, uh, as we just saw there a moment ago, goats will be clambering all over you. And that's, that's the fun of it all, I think. It, it's so unusual because almost everybody grew up in town these days. Not many people uh, grew up on farms. but. This is actual yoga. It's not just a novelty. People are getting fit, right? Yeah, look at them. We all still work out, and um, the goats assist you in the yoga because they jump on you in your poses mm -hmm. and gives you a little strength and balance exercises. Gotcha. Well, let's come over next to James then as we kind of wrap things up. I like the way, J oh, I thought James was tethered to that baby goat. Uh, <laughs> but w what's James's role in the uh, class? So James will weave in and out of you, and you just kind of have to keep your balance so that doesn't step on you or anything like that, which it won't. And he's part of Carter's Petting Zoo. Yeah. We like to um, help small businesses out, so sure. we team together. Well, with we'll Sean. get together with Sean again next time. This is Sean Carter. He uh, he's James's um, wingman, I guess you could say. Uh, but uh, how do people get to your website again? It's just goatyoga.com. Oh, see that you know you're first in when you get goatyoga.com. All right, more coming your way uh, from the world of goat yoga. Now with camels. I mean, are we going to find out so where one keeps first... a camel? Yeah, what? Yeah. what? Uh, like... He just has a camel yeah. in his place? <laughs> I like to leave. Oh, oh, he's gone. Bye, Corey. The camel's there for more support. <laughs> that, that's a tease for our over. next segment. We're going to find out <laughs> where we keep this camel when we come back in a bit. Easy AM is back. I have so many questions for Corey. Corey gets the best gigs. Oh, yes. He, yeah. Yeah, I know. He's got the best job in the valley. And I'm sure, like, after this, <laughs> yeah. you're going to go eat somewhere, aren't you? You're going to go eat, aren't you? Yeah, believe me, there's, uh, there's a falafel in my future. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> Look at this um, camera. Sure. Crazy. This is cool. Now, we're watching, we're watching James at work. Sarah Williams is with us. Uh, you can do the color commentary of. I, I don't know if I'd be, uh, I, should I be nervous He's if a 2,000 pound camel is walking behind me while I'm trying to do yoga? So yoga is supposed to be a really focused practice. You're supposed mm. to be in tune with what you're doing. And James just helps you focus on a little bit more because if you mess up, like yeah. you might be under a camel's foot. You don't want to <laughs> do that. But James is so nice. He's a petting zoo camel, and so he's used to just standing there for photo shoots. This is the next thing for James to do yoga. This is probably one of the better days of his career, That's I would right. I would imagine. Now, just so everybody knows, it's goatyoga.com and our location, we're at about Hunt Highway and Val what? And Val Vista. Yeah. South so forward. Southeast Valley, but it's worth the drive. And this is just sort of a small class. So you have as many as 
hundred or more here. Yeah, normally nights. we do evenings because it's a little hot in Arizona, you know. Sure. And then James is going to come once to twice a month. You James know, the camel. Yep, help support Carter's Petting Zoo, and <laughs> it's just something to make it a little more fun. We have people that cry over the alpacas. It's not only about goat yoga. There'll yeah. be someone out there that needs this camel in their life. Sure. And it, this is an easy way to access it. I like the way. Uh, uh, I believe that would be Kip. The alpaca is right behind James trying to pick up some parade so, tips. Right, and alpacas are very protective of their herd. So we uh -huh. got the alpacas to protect the goats from coyotes. And Kip's a little species confused. I think he thinks he's a camel. <laughs> but he's also watching out for his goat buddies. You I know? like the way he scampers. <laughs> he's good. So, and people should know too, we're doing actual yoga here. Oh, yeah. it's, it's not just a It's a for all show. levels though. Anyone can come. If you want to just get the animal therapy of being with the goats and the animals and the camels, whatever, you know what I mean? You yeah. can do that. But we do do yoga about 45 minutes. It's choreographed so that we're training people yeah. and animals. This is a show where people really get involved, right. if you want to think of it that so way. So like SeaWorld, you go and you watch the pets. You guys are part of the show here. We've added 80s music in. <laughs> the animals have a routine. It's awesome. Love it. Well. This is not how I expected my Thursday to go. I always love coming out to see you ladies. You always have such a big crowd. Uh, but I didn't know that James the Camel would be uh, involved. And let's catch a surprise, yeah, Corey. Let's catch up know. with James and uh, <laughs> this is James's human friend, Sean. Sean Carter of Carter Farms, uh, Arizona's best petting zoo. That's true. How can, how can people get James to show up at their own birthday party, yoga class? Bar Mitzvah, Briss. They can just give us a call. They can check out our website, cartersfarmaz.com, mm -hmm. uh, or they can give us a call at 480-926-0302, and if we're available, we'll schedule it. Love that. Well, Sean can make it happen. Oh, yeah, well, he's got all the deets there. You're like a NASCAR driver. I like the way you represent. All right, um, easy to find, easy to get into the class. Um, can, do you have drop-ins, or is it best oh, yeah. to sign up? 15 on bucks the... online, mm -hmm. or you can drop in for 20 bucks. We always have room. It's a summer in Arizona. Uh, it's really a big tourism thing right now, so we love getting people from out of state. Oh, good. Something you know, Grand Canyon, goat yoga, stuff to do in Arizona. Oh, awesome. I love it. Uh, and has anyone here been here many, many times? Any, any super regulars? I think it's all their first oh yeah. Well, and so what is your name? Allison. All right, Allison. You could be doing anything on a Thursday morning in Arizona mm -hmm. in July. Mm -hmm. Why here? What do you love about it? Uh, cause goats are life and they're everything. Oh yeah. And this is, I'd be, I'd be nowhere else. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a refrigerator magnet. I am a refrigerator. Goats are life. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really is true. Well, that's James. James is all decked out for the 4th of July. And, uh, just so we know, well, we'll get the dynamic duo together here. Uh, quickly, let's turn our faces to the sun. Uh, are there classes every day as we wrap it up? When do we come? We usually have them just on weekends and a few times during the week. So, But this weekend, 4th of July weekend, we have Friday night, Saturday night, Monday night, and all the animals being patriotic stuff, patriotic music. You know, it's just a great way to celebrate you, the holiday. You Sober. The oh, you got <laughs> Actually, it. Well, you want to come, come however you want. <laughs> No <laughs> rule. Like I said, it's the Hunt Highway Corridor. You don't have to be Anything sober. happens. Uh, sure. I mean, we recommend oh, sobriety, just... but you know, not a rule. Not a hard rule. Have the over in this pasture with this Arabian horse. He's always staggering around. Anything goes here uh, for sure. But anyway, come see uh, April and uh, Sarah and the whole gang. It's going to be a great uh, weekend. And why not? Why not be outdoors with the goats? Let's let's start printing up those T-shirts, Corey. Guys. Goats goat are life. Is, life. Yeah, is it goat is life? life? Goats are life. Is goats are said? life. Hey, I can see that. You never selling. know what's going to happen here. Sure. <laughs>